Hey everybody, how's it going today? Welcome back to the channel. <clears throat> just got off work, got a shower, and just sat down to uh, do some music. Super excited. Hey, so we got a, uh, a song uh, from Paul, um, Paul recommended over on Ko-Fi. And this is, uh, it says, Yes, Trevor Horn Concert 2004. So I don't know if it's a Yes concert or if it's a Trevor Horn concert who is from Yes. Uh, I'm not sure. Haven't seen it. Uh, so we will delve into it. Oh man, I haven't even got things prepared. I'm I literally just like <clears throat> came in and sat down. Okay, let's see. So let's find out it, uh, if it's uh what am I doing here? Trevor Horn or if it's yes. I mean, because I know Trevor Horn is uh oh shoot, I am literally not ready. All right, I'm gonna get it started and I'll put the video up here. Okay, here we go. When I was growing up in the 70s, there was one rock band that my brother and I, my brother Ken, is here tonight. We were big fans of, uh, of this band. I suppose part of it was because I was a bass player. And to me, this band had not only the person I thought who was the best bass player, but also great drummer, Alan White. The two of them together were a brilliant, brilliant uh, Sounds like yes. rock rhythm section. So I, I was a really big fan all the way through the 70s. And you know the way these things happen sometimes? Ah, Chris, you're here. <laughs> Chris Squire persuaded me to join the band as a singer. <laughs> but you'll be glad to know I'm not singing with the band tonight. <laughs> anyway, things worked much better for me and Yes when I was the producer. You know, on a personal note, this is a very good friend of mine. And uh, over the last 25 years, he's up there with the cream of producers, and he may be the most important producer Britain's produced over the last 25 years. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Chris. You're still my favorite bass player. <laughs> anyway, when I got to work with Yes as a producer, there was a, a young man who just joined the band. Oh, sorry, I mustn't forget Steve Howe. I was such a huge fan of Steve Howe. Anyway, when we made the album 90125, there was a new guy in the band. He was a big star from South Africa, a young man called Trevor Rabin. And one afternoon, at his apartment over in uh, Topanga Canyon, he played me a song. It was a song called Owner of a Lonely Heart. And the minute I heard it, I said, That's, that song's a hit. If I know a hit, <laughs> this is a hit song. Anyway, he joined the band and we made, we made a wonderful album, 90125. And this is a very unusual uh, lineup because my old friend, Jeffrey, who joined Yes with me many years ago, is also back in the lineup. So here, <laughs> Trevor Rabin to sing the song he wrote, Chris Squire, Jeff Downs, Alan White, Steve Howe. Yes. Thank you. I haven't heard this song in a long time. It's cool to see him live though.
log out. Different version, I like it. Oh, there it is. Give every will a chance. You've got to want to succeed. Owner of a lonely heart. Owner of a lonely heart. Much better than an owner of a broken heart. Owner of a lonely His bass is so low.
Somebody fart like Steve. Nicely done, nicely done. Awesome. Oh, a little sad, though, to, to know that, uh, you know, we won't get to hear anything new from Chris Squire. Man, he's such a good bass player. I just love his bass playing, his bass tone. But let's just start from the beginning and then we'll go wherever we want to. That was a cool song. I love I mean, the whole thing was great. Great video, great songs. Uh, but that introduction, I mean, I don't know if I've ever heard like a better, more interesting, just uh, uh, introduction, especially just you know, with the intimacy that uh, Trevor Horn has with the band and how well he knows them, you know, and what a, an amazing, not just some MC, you know, just saying so, uh, some words, but he was being, you know, super sincere, yet, you know, also humble in his own right, but yet, you know, just making it known he's part of the Yes, you know, uh, saga. Um, but anyways, really, really a cool introduction. And uh, yeah, that instrumental song, I don't remember what it's called, um, but it's a super cool song. I remember hearing it. Uh, I don't think Trevor Rabin uh, sang that song on the album. I think um, John Anderson sang it on the album. At least his voice was prominent. Um, There's, of course, lots of harmony and vocal on that. So I'm sure Trevor's uh, voice was in there. But um, isn't it interesting, though, to you know, enjoy that. I did anyways. Um, but, you know, uh, John Anderson not be there. And yet I'm still listening to it like I'm listening to Yes. And I'm not really missing John, although I love John, you know, don't get me wrong. But it's like, you know, it's, but it's, it's also kind of a different thing. It was kind of different without John there. Uh to me, it seemed like. Um, but I don't have a lot of experience seeing uh, live Yes with Trevor Rabin at all. You know, so <clears throat> that means most of the time John's there whenever I've seen live videos of Yes um, over the years. Um, but it's kind of funny how well, I really didn't miss John, but I could tell that you know, Trevor did a great job singing the song, but it wasn't John's voice, you know, that I'm so, so used to. I bought that album uh, brand new when it came out back in 19, was it 83 or 84? Can't even remember. Something like that right in there. But um, it was one of my favorite albums of the time. And I'm not, I'm, I'm, I know some people kind of, kind of bash that album, some Yes fans and even bash that song even worse or because of that song bash that album owner of a lonely heart but i love that song i've always loved that song and changes on that album and there's so many good songs on that album um yeah i listened to it not long ago i don't know a couple few months ago can't really remember but i listened to it um fairly recently uh, super good uh, super great album but that was super, really really fun to see them play live um and uh you know watch chris and watch steve steve was kind of in the background there until he got his until they started jamming on that song at the end which was really cool and then he got to do a little lead there uh which was cool you can totally you know just pick out his style 
very, very different than Trevor uh, Trevor Rabin's guitar style. But interesting, kind of an interesting addition to uh, the Yes mix at that point with uh, with him. Out of all of the you know, members that have come in and out of the band over the years, that's probably one of the most dramatic and drastic uh, mem- mem- sound changes that a member brought into that band, I think, uh, Trevor Rabin. Uh, more than, um, you know, uh, well, I'm drawing a blank now, but the keyboard players um, and Jeff... And Jeff Downs, I think it was, and uh, Rick Wakeman, um, uh, who I've met, just said hi to one time here locally. He was playing a concert in a, a really, actually one of my former bands that I was no longer in at the time uh, opened up for him here locally, uh, opened up for Rick Wakeman. So I got to be backstage and I was helping out and stuff. But uh, yeah, he was a really nice guy, super nice guy. And uh, so, yeah, but but just really, a, that was a great video, super great video. It's been a long time since I've seen some live Yes video and, and just even, uh, like I said, hardly even ever seen anything live with Trevor Trevor Raven. I would say it's Trevor, Tr- Trevor, Trevor Raven. Tre- Trevor, Trevor Raven, not Trevor Raven. You got to get that B in the right place in the right word. It's, it's difficult for me. I, I don't know how to explain it. Anyways, um, great, great recommendation. Paul loved it, even though I like know that song like the back of my head. Although the first instrumental song I said, I hadn't heard that in a long time. That was cool to hear. But yeah, I love that song. That's one of my one of my all time favorite yes songs, believe it or not. Although, you know, it's up there with a lot of really great songs. Um, you know, of course, but I really do like that song a lot. And I kind of liked the fact, and the one thing about that song I don't like or at least has kind of gotten dated is that um that that horn punch in that song bang 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 and you know that, that that happened a lot in that song so not hearing that in this song was actually kind of nice uh in this live version i was i was like okay yeah i can deal i can deal without hearing that loud you know horn stab you know uh but anyways it was trendy at the time. Janet Jackson loved it. All right, guys. Well, thank you. Thank you, Paul. Nicely done. Nicely done. It was really fun to watch that um, live video for sure. Um, appreciate it. I don't think I've ever seen that uh, I that that uh, lineup play live, which, which, by the way, I really like that lineup. I really like it. Um, I don't know if they've done albums with that lineup and not have John Anderson singing too. I, I don't know because... I'm not super versed on all of Yes's material. Um, I started to go through uh, some of their stuff a a month or two ago. I've got some uh, live album reactions, like entire albums on my Patreon. I did a couple of Yes albums over there, which were great. Uh, uh, So, yeah, if you're not on Patreon, go over there and check check those out. I I think they're behind the paywall, though. So, you know, you got to come up with the cash. I'm kidding. If you want to see it, just let me know. You can, you can come in. Um, anyways, great, great job. Thank you guys. That, but do join me over on Patreon. Also, uh, come over to my merch shop, get yourself a coffee mug, get yourself a, uh, uh, some leggings, some leggings with my name on it. You can get some leggings. It'd be awesome. Walk around town to music with Todd Ledbetter, you know, all around it. That'd be so cool. Or get, or get yourself a couple of pint glasses. And uh, it's got my logo on it. People say, what the heck's that? Ah, you don't want to know. You don't have to explain it to them. Just, it's between you and me. So anyways, uh, thank you guys. I appreciate it. You guys have a great day. We'll see you in the next video and down in the comments. And uh, bye-bye.